Amber Heard announced that she is settling for $1 million in the Johnny Depp defamation case. Let's walk through her statement and my favorite parts. After a great deal of deliberation, I have made a very difficult decision to settle the defamation case brought against me by my ex-husband in Virginia. Note that we are intentionally not using his name. It's very strategic. It's important for me to say that I never chose this. I defended my truth. I just wanna highlight my truth. If she was my PR client, I might've suggested the truth. If we're sticking with the idea that her truth is the truth, just leaves a little room for ambiguity. And in doing so, my life as I knew it was destroyed. Correct. <laughs> because the performance on the stand did her no favors in the court of public opinion. And then here at the bottom, she says, there are no restrictions or gags in respect to my voice moving forward. Fantastic. I make this decision having lost faith in the American legal system, where my testimony served as entertainment and social media fodder. Ma'am, if your testimony had been believable, then we would have believed you. When I stood before a judge in the UK, I was vindicated. We're still doing the UK bit? Really? Okay. In the US, I was subjected to a courtroom in which evidence that favored me was excluded and in which popularity and power mattered more than reason and due process. Ma'am, it wasn't about his popularity. Nobody believed you, babe. And then she says, I cannot relive another trial and amen, sister girl, we are all there with you. Time is precious. I've been caged in a legal process and I cannot afford an impossible bill. We know, <laughs> we're aware. I'm also choosing to dedicate my time to the work that helped me heal, work where I feel seen, heard, and believed. And out of curiosity, what is that echo chamber? Is it acting, philanthropy, children's hospitals? I have questions. I will not be threatened or disheartened. My voice remains the most valuable asset that I have. Cool. On the last slide, she thanks her legal team and her supporters and ends with this. Thank you, see you soon, how soon? What's the move? We want to know. Overall, I think this is a great move for Johnny who adamantly said, this is not about the money. This is about my side being heard and taking 9.35 million off the bill is a great way to prove that. So what's next for these two? I'll let you know. Stay tuned. TMZ article says, contrary to what Amber Heard says, our source tells us the judgment can still be used against her in the future if she repeats the defamatory allegations. So she can't, she reckons she's going to keep going spouting, but you watch, she'll go real quiet now. And she thinks if she goes super quiet and then just pops back up in a couple of years, everyone's going to be like, ah, oh, no, no, that's not what's going to happen. With Johnny Depp and Amber Heard reaching a settlement and Amber Heard releasing a statement saying, I spoke my truth and this and that, people have been asking me. With Johnny Depp and Amber Heard reaching a settlement and Amber Heard releasing a statement saying, I spoke my truth and this and that, people have been asking me, well, did Amber actually win this and Johnny lose? In my opinion, legally and in the public arena, the answer is that Johnny won resoundingly. Any legal victory attributable to Miss Heard is really only attributable in the UK and it's in relation to Johnny's case against a publication that was not Miss Heard, it was a publication. Defamation laws in the UK are very different to those in the US. By any conceivable metric, Johnny's won. He's been welcomed back into Hollywood and he has had all of his opportunities reinstated. No doubt as part of the settlement, his legal fees would probably be covered to some extent by Miss Heard. The freedom of speech argument that may have succeeded on appeal has been withdrawn. And by donating what he's getting to charity, unlike Miss Heard who likes to pledge amounts and never deliver them, he's shown that he's actually a man of integrity. So this is a Johnny Depp victory from woe to go. Follow me for more legal TikTok. Amber Heard has been fighting her court verdict for seven months, but now it's finally come to a conclusion she's settled with Johnny Depp. And how the Amber Heard versus Johnny Depp case ended was with Amber Heard being ordered to pay $15 million to Johnny Depp. That number ended up getting reduced because $5 million worth of that was in punitive damages. Punitive damages are meant to punish the person being sued versus compensate the person that's suing. In Virginia, that's capped at $350,000, meaning the $5 million went to $350,000. On top of that, Johnny Depp was ordered to pay $2 million to Amber Heard because of her defamation case against him. Which means Amber Heard ended up owing Johnny Depp $8 million $350,000, which was way more than what Amber Heard can afford, being over four times as much as what she was paid for Aquaman 2. Because of this for months, Amber Heard has been trying to fight the verdict, getting the number reduced. She did come to a settlement with Johnny Depp agreeing to pay him $1 million. Johnny Depp has accepted this, saying he'll donate all the money to charity. People are saying it's not enough money, but that's not what's important. What's important is Pirates producer Jerry Bruckheimer wants Johnny Depp back as Jack Sparrow. This wasn't about punishing Heard, it was about getting Depp's career back. Now that they've settled, I hope they both have better lives, and with that, I'm Charles Pearl, I hope you learned something. Amber Heard has settled her defamation case against Johnny Depp to the sum of $1 million and expresses her disappointment in the American court system. 
After a great deal of deliberation, I have made a very difficult decision to settle the defamation case brought against me by my ex-husband in Virginia. It's important for me to say that I never chose this. I defended my truth, and in doing so, my life as I knew it was destroyed. The vilification I was faced on social media is an amplified version of the ways in which women are re-victimized when they come forward. Now, I finally have an opportunity to emancipate myself from something I attempted to leave over six years ago and on terms I can agree to. I have made no admission. This is not an act of concession. There are no restrictions or gags with respect to my voice moving forward. I make this decision having lost faith in the American legal system, where my unprotected testimony served as entertainment and social media fodder. So if we get into the details of, wait, I thought the trial judge already said no to the appeal. The trial judge did. That's a motion for new trial. So that's basically going to the judge you already lost in front of, who already made all these rulings you didn't like. And you say, judge, either you or the other side of the jury did something so wrong, you should give me a new trial. She lost that. But all of us in any civil case, in any criminal case, uh, not any, but almost any, have the right to an appeal. That's very important, right? Because you don't want to get in front of a judge who does so many things wrong, you never have a fair shot. So this is the loser, in this case, Amber Heard's chance to go to the appellate court and say this trial judge messed up so badly, or the other side did, or whomever, a combination, I, sh I haven't had a fair trial and this is my chance. So regardless of what you think of the arguments, this is a chance to have the Court of Appeals say, did the judge make a big mistake in not giving her a new trial already, or make mistakes in the trial that warrant another chance? I have not talked about Amber Heard in months. And literally while I am recording, the video where I mention her name, there is breaking news in the Amber Heard first Johnny Depp. Hold on. Amber Heard is finally going to put an end to all of this and it looks as though is withdrawing her appeal. Once again, mentions the fact that when she stood before a judge in the UK, she was vindicated by a robust impartial unfair system. Uh, that, that wasn't true consistently use that UK trial as though it was a criminal trial. And it wasn't. It was a defamation trial against the tabloids, just as it was here. And as I mentioned in my video on the Harry and Meghan documentary, the British tabloids run on a different set of ethics. It looks as though she is finally ready to just put this to bed. Now, whether or not she has the money to pay it, I don't know. I guess we'll see. Depp versus Heard to bring you some breaking news on this case. Just moments ago, Amber Heard announced that she is settling the Virginia defamation case against Johnny Depp. This means she will no longer appeal the result of the June verdict. Heard posted the settlement announcement on Instagram saying, have made no admission. This is not an act of concession. I make this decision having lost faith in the American legal system, where my unprotected testimony served as entertainment and social media fodder. Even if my U.S. appeal is successful, the best outcome would be a retrial where a new jury would have to consider the evidence again. I simply cannot go through that for a third time. My voice forever remains the most valuable asset I have. Again, Amber Heard announcing just moments ago that she is settling the defamation case against Johnny Depp. A huge thank you to each and every one of you who reached out to me in the DMs, who messaged me, who left comments about this, and who took the time and sent me these clips. I really sincerely appreciate it. Um, you know, more victory for Johnny Depp. You know, I love him and I love to see it. I appreciate every single one of you. I hope you have a wonderful week. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, and thanks so much for being here. I'll talk to you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.